Hey guys, Tom here. Happy Friday and happy hour Friday. Uh, special one today. Next week is May 5th and May 5th is also Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a big celebration here in America, but it, you know, as we all know, it originated in Mexico and what it was in Mexico in 1862, I believe on May 5th, the Mexican army had like an unlikely underdog victory over the French in what was the Battle of Puebla. What that battle and war was, or fighting over, I'm not 100% sure. If you know, please tell me below. But in Mexico, it was, you know, parades and festivals, kind of like, you know, Mardi Gras, Carnival. And here in America, it became a celebration of Mexican-American culture but it just more or less became another reason for Americans to party. And basically, Cinco de Mayo is the unofficial holiday of good old tequila. So I would thought I would share with you guys a few out of the ordinary tequila cocktails for your Cinco de Mayo celebration. And, you know, let's get right to it because we got a lot to cover. The first thing I'm going to make for you is called a Mexican sunset. So as always, we're going to start with a little ice in a, in a glass and we need an ounce and a half of tequila and I'm not even going to bother putting the lid back on that because I'm going to be using a lot of it today. And you can use any kind of tequila one, I guess, actually in Traditionally, but you know, in America, we all seem to like to use the gold tequila, but actually the the, the, the clear, the, the, the white silver tequila is actually supposedly better. So an ounce and a half of tequila, and then just a small half ounce of peach. I seem to be using a lot of peach lately. I don't know why that is. half ounce of amaretto. Amaretto is like an almond flavored liqueur. And then three ounces of pineapple. I've had my pineapple sitting here so it kind of separated. So just mix that all back together. So let me use my big measurer. Three ounces of pineapple it's right there and when you're having a party or you know cocktails and stuff preparation is absolutely critical you got to have all your stuff I mean it's like cooking you have to have all your ingredients ready beforehand so you can you know make cocktails feed your guests you know get their drinks ready you know you don't want people waiting at a party you want to have a good time and keep the party going so when you're having a party prep your stuff ahead of time and you'll be good to go uh, and then we're gonna give it the old shake on this one I'm gonna use a nice tulip glass with some crushed ice whatever you have get the handy dandy strainer almost to the top you don't want to fill this one all the way to the top because here comes the sunset part take grenadine whether you have alcoholic grenadine like I have grenadine syrup or even cherry juice and just kind of drizzle a little bit right around the edge And that'll drip down through there. It kind of gives you the illusion of nice sunset over the desert. And then a lime and a cherry. A straw. And that starts our Cinco de Mayo party with a nice 
Mexican sunset. Finally, what would a tequila and Cinco de Mayo party be without a traditional and classic margarita? Now there are tons of ways to make margaritas. Straight up, blended, salt, no salt, on the rocks, strawberry, peach, mango, any kind of fruit you can think of. The only way that I'm gonna tell you there isn't a good way to make a margarita is by opening up a bottle of something that says mix on it and adding it to tequila. Use lime juice that you've squeezed yourself. The drink is worth it, your friends are worth it, your family's worth it, your party's worth it. You'll be glad you did. You'll have just so much better result doing it that way. It's just, it's just the way you have to do it in my opinion. So, there are a lot of proportions for margaritas, different ways to make them. I do it 2-1-1, which is two ounces of tequila, or two parts tequila. I mean, you can make as many ounces as you want. If, I mean, if you're making a pitcher of margaritas, you can do two cups of, mar of tequila. So it's two parts of tequila, one part of fresh, or a little more lime juice and one part of orange liqueur you put it in a nice shaker again with the nice did you notice last week I said nice a lot I don't know why I say that but and you shake the crap out of it So, how are you gonna serve it? Up on the rocks, I'm gonna serve mine in a margarita glass. I typically don't like salt, but I'm gonna show you how to do it, just so you know. You get the glass, some good coarse salt, rim the glass with lime, spin it in the salt, One final piece of lime. And that is your ever classic margarita. So that's it for these happy hour drinks for Cinco de Mayo. Whether you're having a party, going to a party, or just going out and having a good time, or better yet, staying home and having a good time. Make one, make a couple, make them all. But as always, make them responsibly, enjoy them responsibly, and make sure you can have another good time tomorrow. So until I see you next time, right here for happy hour, remember, take care of yourself and your home. Cheers.